I thought I would try to explain the 944 and other Porsche and probably other German car wiring diagrams a little bit. Now, the 944s are from the 80s, so modern wiring diagrams are going to be more complex and older cars are probably going to be less complex. So, I've printed up all the PDFs on 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper and I've taped them all together and this is kind of my my working set. So I've got my own notes and highlighting and stuff like that. But I can show you some concepts of how it works. So they're all laid out in a grid. If you look over here, you're going to see A through P along the top and along the bottom. So that's your horizontal. And then your vertical axis, it starts with one and it goes down to 10 on this first page. So this diagram, which is you know three sheets of paper taped together, is for the lighting system. Now the next one here, it starts at number at row 11, and it goes from 11 to 20. And so this is the instrument cluster and uh, dash and things like that. And then the next segment goes from 21 down to 30. And this one is heating, air conditioning, and ventilation. So this is your blowers and, you know, your heat control and all of that stuff. And then we get to 30 through 31 on this sheet. And this is the, it says two-tone horns, mirrors, and alarm system. And then the last, well, second to last one here, we get 40 to 41 to 50 and this is for the engine compartment and cruise control. Uh, being that I converted my car to a race car, this is primarily the sheet that I use because this is about all the wiring that's left. And then the last one here, this is 51 through 60. And this is actually the fuse block. This is the, the, the 85 and a half and later cars that have the, the fuse panel under the hood um, by the driver's side is uh, it has the big fuse block. So this, these are all your relays that are inside that, that, that fuse block and then these are all the fuses here. So the perimeter of the fuse block this has all the connections to the to the other sheets in the diagram or to the rest of the car. So to, to show you an example here up here in this this F zone. So this is labeled in zones, and in fact the plugs under the fuse block have letters that correspond with all of these. But this one right here that I've highlighted, this is for your, your oil light. So it says to go to L47. In this actual pinout, it's in the F plug, and it's the number 11 wire. So I can go to L47, which is going to be in this chart. Here's L Here's 47, so it's going to be in this area, and I said this was the F11 pin, and so right here I can see F11, so in fact this dotted line right here, central electric, represents that, that fuse panel in the, under the hood, so I can see F11 actually has two wires that come out of it, and they are BL BK, that's going to be blue and black, and BLRE, blue and red. So you can even see the color of the wire, and also you know where it comes out of. And then the the blue black one goes to F14, and the blue red one goes to F16. So now we can find F16. That's going to be on the instrument cluster page. We've got 16 here. We've got F here. And so it's going to be in this zone, and we can see where it was coming from. Oh, here it is, L46. This was the one, and that's why it's highlighted, because I've traced this before, and so I can see that L46 goes up into the, the instrument cluster, and it is still the, the blue and red one, B-L-R-E, blue-red, and it goes to this light, and then this light, the other end of this light, goes to a, um, a ground circuit, it looks like. So that's how the, the oil light comes on. That wire goes from the engine compartment to that central electric, or that fuse block, and then it goes to the instrument cluster. A few more things to point out on these wiring diagrams. One is, this kind of symbol is a plug. This is actually the plug from the fuel pump to the, to the main harness. 
And then this thing here, this MP1, uh, if you notice this, uh, this one wire here is BR, that's brown. The German cars use brown for the ground wire. So the ground goes to the chassis and then this MP1, if we look up at the little card diagram, it'll tell us MP1 is back here in the trunk. So this is saying this ground wire from the fuel pump goes to a plug and then from the plug it goes to that, that spot on the trunk where it's grounded. Um, here's another plug. So this is our DME unit here. So all of these numbers along the side are actually the pin number for the DME plug. And then this is a, a big plug. This is the plug that is in front of the firewall by the fuse block in the engine compartment, kind of by the brake booster. And then um, I thought I would point this out. So this is the DME ray relay. So a relay is a, is a switch. There's a little solenoid here. So the solenoid gets power. Uh, you know, one side's ground, one side is power, and then it toggles a switch, and then the switch closes a bridge or closes the circuit for a hotline, you know, to, to run power to something. So the DME relay is actually two physical relays in the same unit. This lower switch, this lower one, is powered when you turn on the key, and what it does is, you know, it puts power to across this part of the switch which then closes this gate which then allows power to come to here and it allows power to come to the second part of the relay and it also allows power to go to the you know to the main uh, you know the, the switched part of this relay and then this side of the relay is actually a ground wire that is switched by the DME so once this guy has power then this part of the relay then has power and when you turn the key and the engine starts cranking, the DME will then ground this wire. Once this side gets ground, this switch will close, and then the power will flow this way and go through the fuse, fuse number 34, and then come you know, out of the central electric box and to the back of the car and to the fuel pump.